of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is day seven of our nine-day novena for life, which is being organized by the Knights of Columbus of our parish. And the intercession or the focus of our prayers for today is the following. May all who support or participate in abortion experience a conversion of heart to seek and receive the Lord's boundless mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reflection for today is the following. When God fashioned the human person in his own image and likeness, he destined us for eternal life with him. Yet, because of sin, because of the sin of our first parents, death entered the world. The book of Genesis recounts the first occasion in which a person takes the life of another as Cain violently kills his brother Abel. This instance of brother rising up against brother at the very dawn of history is thus a sad witness of how evil spreads with amazing speed. From the time of creation, disregard for human life has continued to spread. When we, like Cain, allow sin to find a place in our hearts, we become blinded to the truth. Sometimes this blindness might be so deep that we fail to recognize the undeniable humanity of unborn children. We may even tragically believe the lie that abortion is an act of compassion. But we know that life, especially human life, belongs only to God. For this reason, whoever attacks human life in some way attacks God himself. Let us pray that all who support abortion encounter the transforming love of the Father and with repentant hearts seek his mercy. Some suggested acts of reparation that you can add to today's prayer intention are the following. Smile. Ask God today for the grace to be extra joyful and to share the light of Christ with those most in need of his love and mercy. Or, seek the intercession of Our Lady by praying a spiritual rosary, meditating on the sorrowful mysteries or offer some other sacrifice, prayer, or act of penance that you feel called to do for today's intention. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.